Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger of Comedy, I'm back with another Dokkan battle video. So, last night I was waiting up in bed for event reset time, which is 1.30 a.m. for me, because I was still holding on to that one final shred, one tiny shred of hope that the top grossing rewards would come through. And as it turns out, they didn't, and I'm pretty sure that is a lost cause at this point, guys. I don't think we're going to be getting top grossing rewards on Global, at least for part one of the Christmas celebration. And uh, I think we just need to stop holding our breath because I don't think it's coming. I mean, I did say in my video from a couple days ago, maybe about a week ago now, that even though we did hit top grossing in a couple regions, um, there's, there was still a chance that Bandai wouldn't give us anything. So as it turns out, that was the case. And you know what? There's been enough discussion. There's been enough talk about it. I think we need to move on and look ahead to part two of the celebration. So speaking of that, even though we didn't get the top grossing stones, even though there was no top grossing announcement, we did still get some new things in the news or one new thing, which was the announcement that the uh, BoJack story event renewal or revamp was finally making its way over to the global version of the game. So in today's video, I want to give you guys all the details for the revamped story event so that you guys are ready to go once it officially comes out in, I want to say maybe a day or, day or two days, something like that. Basically when part two of the Christmas celebration begins. So uh, without further ado guys, let's jump in. And the first thing we're going to do, which we always do in these videos, is do a stone count for the uh, total number of free-to-play stones that this event will provide because I feel like a lot of people uh, really care about that. That's really important to a lot of people. And uh, as always with all revamped story events, even if you cleared the event in the past and you got all the stones, with the revamp, you'll be able to re-clear all the stages and get all those stones uh, again. So that's pretty awesome. And in total, we can expect one, two, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 from the stages. So 10 stages, 2 difficulties per stage for a total of 20. And then on top of that, we get 1, 2 from the missions for a total of 22 Dragon Stones from the revamp story event, which actually isn't too bad, um, all things considered, since... The Universe 6 story event, I'm pretty sure only gave about 12 to 14. So this one gives almost 10 more than that. So 22 total Dragonstones, guys, you can get from clearing this event. And then on top of that, another new thing is the increased drop category. So this event didn't have a increased drop category before, and now it has Hybrid Saiyan. So obviously, if you guys are farming the event for the Gohan drops or the medals, make sure to bring as many Hybrid Saiyan units on your team as possible for the uh, best possible rates, right? And uh, as far as release date, like I said, I don't really know, uh, but I'm assuming that part two of the Christmas celebration should be starting maybe tomorrow, maybe even tonight, actually. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, it should be soon, within the next two days. So whenever uh, that starts, then we should be getting the revamp, so pretty soon, right? And let's see. So. As far as medals go, we get six different medals we can use to awaken various characters, including LR Bojack. So for those of you that have been um, waiting for the event to come back to finally awaken your Bojack, then there you go. And we can also get this Fizz Gohan, who does get a Dokkan Awakening through this uh, update, and we'll talk about him in a second too. So aside from that, I'm not really sure if there's anything else to talk about. I mean, you can farm Gravity Chambers on stage two, but the better stage to farm gravity chambers is definitely the future Gohan and future Trunks event, where you can get um, a ton of those, uh, is it 50G? Basically the times two gravity chambers, so they're much better than these ones, so I wouldn't waste my time on that. Uh, you can get the medals from stages three to, let's see, three to seven, and then you can get the Fizz Gohan on stage eight, and uh, you can also farm some Herco statues on stage 10 if you guys are low on Zenny. And as far as the medals go, uh, there are a bunch of characters that actually use these medals to awaken. So of course the Fizz Gohan requires a bunch of these medals to Dokkan Awaken, but there's also the AGL Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. There's also uh, the SR um, Sangya, as well as, uh, what's his name again? Gokua, my bad. 
my brain died for a second. Goku also can Dokken Awaken uh, through the medals, uh, SR Bojack, a couple other Bojacks, and also of course LR Bojack requires a bunch of medals to awaken to LR status. So once again, like, like I said, if you guys pulled LR Bojack before and couldn't get the medals, now's your chance. So speaking of this Fizz Gohan, you know what, let's just pop over to his page here. So this Fizz Gohan actually used to drop as an R unit and uh, people used to still farm him to uh, raise super attack of other Super Saiyan Gohans, right? But it was such a pain in the ass before, guys, because you have to you have to farm him as an R and then you have to get seven of each of these medals to token awaken him into an SR Super Saiyan Gohan. And uh, even and, and even then, you only have like a 50% chance if you you would have to awaken him to SSR, and then you would only have a 50% chance to uh, raise the super attack of whatever Super Saiyan Gohan you're trying to boost super attack for, right? So it used to be a huge, huge grind, but now with the revamp, uh, you can actually drop him or get him to drop as an SR instead of an R, so it saves you a ton of time. So if you guys have you know Gohans out there like a uh, you know, if you're lucky and you got the AGL uh, LR Gohan and you still haven't gotten him to SA10 for some reason, then you can definitely use this guy to do that. And uh, any other Super Saiyan Gohans in the game can be used or can have their super attacks raised by this guy. So uh, that's pretty cool. And I I'm not really sure if like the R Gohan now technically doesn't exist um, because you can't really get him to drop from the story event anymore. So maybe he's like... It might be pretty rare now, uh, all things considered. Okay, so you get the SR Gohan, and he does get a Dokkan Awakening, like I said, and he awakens into this Gohan right here, Surge of Anger Super Saiyan 2 uh, Gohan Youth. Okay, so starting with his leader skill, AGL and Fizz types keep plus 2, HP, attack, and defense plus 40%. Uh, super attack is Soaring Dragon Strike, causes supreme damage, and lowers defense. And the super attack for a free-to-play unit is actually pretty freaking nice. Uh, passive is Breaking Determination. Key plus 2, attack and defense plus 40%, plus an additional key plus 2, and attack and defense plus 30% when facing 2 or more enemies, plus an additional key plus 2, and attack and defense plus 30% when there is a movie boss's category enemy, plus an additional key plus 2, and attack and defense plus 30% when there is a time traveler's category enemy. So as you can see, he can actually get a pretty massive boost on his passive up to a uh, maximum of key plus 8 and attack and defense plus 130% when all conditions are met. But that being said, um, <laughs> I'm not really sure if there is a stage where we can get all of these conditions to um, activate or to fulfill all the conditions. So I'm not really sure if there's ever a situation where you're facing uh, you know, two or more enemies, and then also movie bosses, and then also time travelers. Um, if you guys know what it is, let me know in the comments down below, but I can't think of anything off the top of my head. But that being said, even if you're only facing, you know, a movie bosses category enemy, and also two or more enemies, that's still, what, 100, uh, 100%, right? Hold on. Yes, 100% attack and defense, and also key plus 6. So, um, even if you're not fulfilling all the conditions, he's still actually pretty good for a free-to-play unit. Uh, definitely a good filler for any of the categories he's in, such as uh, you know Bond of Master and Dis Disciple, Youth, Goku's Family, Movie Heroes, Full Power, Hybrid Saiyans. If you guys need a filler for any of those teams, he's actually pretty good for that. And uh, what else? His links, Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, All in the Family, Z Fighters, and prepare for battle, and his categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Full Power, Movie Bosses, Goku's Family, Youth, Bond of Master and Disciple. So, there he is guys, I mean, <laughs> he's not the most exciting unit, don't get me wrong, I don't think he's really that good, but he's not bad, and he is free to play, and he can be used to raid Super Attack of Super Saiyan 2 Gohans out there, so if you guys want to commit to that grind, and uh, wake up a bunch of these guys, I mean, you can go for it, it's not like there's really... I mean, I was gonna say there's not like it's not like there's much else to do on Global at the moment, but we don't know what else Part Two has in store, so that might not be true um, very soon. But for now, there's nothing to do, so I'm assuming you guys probably are just looking for something to grind, looking for something to do. So uh, this guy could definitely keep you occupied for a while, and that is pretty much all there is to talk about, I believe, for the new story event. I don't think there's anything else that's new. Aside from a few updates to the stages, to the drops, to the drop rate, and let me see if there's anything else I missed. Um, you can get some trading items, 
of the missions and that is it guys so that's gonna do it for today's video thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch it hopefully you guys learned something along the way and uh, get excited for some more free stones 22 total free to play stones from the story event new Gohan Awakening and uh, just a much much easier grind if you guys are farming super attack for youth Gohans or super saiyan youth Gohans uh, in this game and yeah that's it until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day oh as always make sure to like the damn video if you guys enjoyed the video and also if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time i hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out